been heavily involved in advocacy leading up to the high-level meeting. Uh, we held multiple trainings and really brought scholars from all around the world and advocates to meet with UN missions at the UN. Uh, we had, uh, in, in addition to these activities, a series of side events and briefings with missions um, to really make a case for a strong declaration that passed at the UN high-level meeting. Right now, we're uh, pushing for uh, the strongest possible set of targets at the World Health Assembly um, and we're also working in parallel streams on uh, the Rio Plus 20 which is a meeting on sustainability and making a case for inclusion of health. We're collaborating with other NGOs around GAG 20 agendas um, but our main focus on NCDs is pushing for the strongest possible targets to be passed at the World Health Assembly. Many many challenges for cancer I think in terms of kind of what's on the table right now and targets. Uh, we're really trying to make a strong case for things that are cost-effective um, and that have a proven history of success. So we make a strong case for cervical cancer, palliative care, um, that's kind of access to uh, opioids. A simple case would be morphine, access to morphine. Uh, things like that are very uh, cost-effective per se, you know, they're very cheap. Uh, morphine is, is uh, it's extremely cheap, so it ends up being a, a, a policy issue. If people are dying in pain because of uh, cancer uh, where they shouldn't be, it ends up being a policy discussion. I mean, the cancer is so broad, so we're working on many, many different parallel programs, but when it comes to, um, you know, NCDs, we're focusing on um, tobacco, cervical cancer, palliative care, some treatment asks. Uh, in, in addition, we're kind of uh, supporting uh, one of the only programs on uh, uh, that really looks at uh, putting money in the field to support advocates to work with their governments and influence their governments in playing a bigger role in, in uh, influencing the NCD agenda. Uh, our program is called Meet the Targets and it's, uh, it, as you can uh, hear from the title, uh, really pushing for strong targets in region. Uh, we have, uh, we're working in nine different countries with, with grantees and, and really supporting them with capacity building and with uh, financial uh, means to really make a case in their countries and, and look at grassroots and grass tops activities that we can do to influence the NCD agendas. Um, I have been attending the Carmen meeting for the past day and a half or so and uh, we'll, I'm really looking forward to the forum tomorrow. I think it's a great initiative from PAHO and it really is making a case for building uh, support for NCDs from all sectors. Uh, it includes government representatives, civil society, um, academia, and uh, the corporate sector all in one room to make the strongest possible case for NCDs. So I think it's a perfect time to push for this, especially in the region that's kind of been a, uh, really a champion around this and uh, lead up to the World Health Assembly when these things will be discussed further. So I think uh, congratulate the team at PAHO for everything that they're doing and uh, I'm thankful for being included in this meeting and we're great, grateful to be here.